Adding motion links and limits is an easy way to drastically improve the way your models look and feel in Fusion 360. Let's start by focusing on the base of this awesome retro coffee grinder I found in the gallery. And as you might notice, the way the bottom drawer slides is correct in motion. However, without limits defined, it can extend out the back and infinitely away from the start position. This is something we can easily correct with just a few clicks. I'll start by right mouse clicking the slider joint icon, and from the resulting menu I'll select to edit the joint limits. From here I can specify that I want to limit both the min and max direction, and when I do so, new handles become available in the graphics area. If I click and drag these new handles, you'll be adjusting the min or max limits of this joint. Alternatively, you can key in specific values, often the case with limits of this type. With that done, the drawer will only extend out 120 millimeters from its current position, a great modification to capture the motion in more detail. At the top, I have another problem. I have some bevel gears that don't seem to work. The reason for this is that although the revolute joints have both been added, we need to add a motion link between them. This can be found in the assemble dropdown, and from there I'm prompted to select the joints. With the joints selected, it will automatically animate the new motion. And it's off to a great start. The motion link can be found in the joints folder in the browser in case you need to make further edits. And we'll wrap up this quick tip by animating the now linked bevel gears. What a beaut. Cheers.